Today I will show you how to hook up my portable generator to my house more safely and cheaply. Another do it yourself. Let's begin. Connecting a portable generator to your house needs extra precaution because electricity is dangerous if mishandled. There are videos on YouTube using existing home socket to plug the generator to a double male extension cord. This connection method is cheap, however, it is dangerous because the exposed prong can electrocute you. Secondly, you could potentially backfeed power to the utility. Please don't do that method. There are two safe ways to supply electricity to your home from a generator. First, using an extension cord direct to appliances from a generator. And the second method is a permanent connection from a generator to your electrical panel along with protective features. The first method is simple and no room for connection mistakes. It is safe because the generator is completely isolated from the electrical panel. However, it is messy and could pose cords as a tripping hazard. The second method is expensive because it may require a transfer switch panel and may be interlocking devices to prevent backfeed to utilities. My version is cheaper permanent connection using an expensive transfer switch. I created a circuit diagram to show the connection between the generator and parts that I bought from Amazon. These are chains over switch, a junction box, an inlet receptacle, and an outlet box. The total cost is around $77. I have a Honda generator rated at 2,200 watts, 110 volts, 10 ampere, to connect to the electrical panel. This generator is enough to power my refrigerator, portable air conditioner, internet router, TV, and Q lights. These loads are more than enough to avoid misery in times of extended power failure. Now let me explain to you how the circuit works. To avoid any accidental short circuits of any hot wires, I arrange all the loads to be supplied by the same phase supply. A different phase source could cause short circuit by inadvertent contacts in close position converts through outlet. The chains over switch has three switching positions, 0, 1, and 2, composed of six pairs of latching contacts, each rated 32 amperes. At 0 position, all contacts are in open position, isolating the electrical panel, the loads, and the generator inlet receptacle. At position 1, contacts 9 to 10, 5 to 6, and 1 to 7 are in closed position. The electric panel is supplying the loads. This is the normal condition. The, the generator inlet receptacle is all isolated by open contacts 11 to 12, 7 through 8, and 3 to 4. At position 2, contacts 11 to 12, 7 to 8, and 3 to 4 are in closed positions. The generator is supplying the loads while contacts 9 to 10, 5 to 6, and 1 to 7 are in open positions, which isolates the generator inlet receptacle from the electrical panel. This prevents backfeeding to the utility. Now it's time to start the project. This is the electrical panel and on this side the inlet receptacle and the chains over switch will be installed. I need to create access opening to pull the wire from the electrical panel to the generator inlet receptacle and chains over switch.
I finally finished the uh, connection of the transfer switch. The internet circuit. The uh, master bedroom and AC unit. And this is the uh, circuit for the uh, refrigerator. So I have three circuits. I have three circuits separated that they empower my uh, generator. Even for us, 